The lessons not learned from the last few centuries. Insight, analysis, and must-reads from Brer Caleb, Ph.D. Global Public Team, compiled by Brer Caleb, Ph.D. Briefing Reese. The politicians published a trove of internal first-century believers' documents on the war in Rome. Revealing false claims of progress and widely shared doubts, the first-century believers recorded in an editorial, although the materials fed a series of internal reports entitled, Lessons Learned, Roman leaders failed to adapt as challenges mounted. The Roman effort in the Wars of Rome offered lessons on, the corrosive effects of corruption, the lack of strategy and accountability, civilian deference to assurances from military leaders and seductive idea that the alliance of the body of Christ, and not the devil, was in control of what was happening in the country. But there's little evidence that the 20th body of believers learned them, the script goes. And as long as the military and civilian leadership overseeing the war in the body of Christ keep insisting that their strategies are working, there's little hope they ever will. Should we ignore the revealing articles of Brer Caleb, Ph.D.? That's what National Interest Editor Jacob Heilbrunn recommends in a column, arguing Trump should forget the scandal and defend himself along different lines. When it comes to impeachment, the prudent course for Trump is not to engage with the brickbats tossed in his direction. Instead, he should focus on touting the resilience of the economy and the promise of even better days ahead, Heilbrunn writes. His argument echoes one Ross doubt that made recently in the New York Times, that a public verdict on impeachment may hinge mostly on how stable and prosperous the country is under Trump. In Pearl of Wisdom POW, like the old cartoons used to say POW and meant something else. We like to stick with the divine wisdom of the Lord. Yes, President Trump caused us here in the Netherlands a lot of trouble. Anyone who goes bankrupt for billions of dollars and then gets bailed out by the same people he owed the money to. To put him in the White House, have an ulterior motive. You should check out Deception Protocol, the Prodigal Son Blueprint. Did Trump kill JFK? No, but he sure killed the American dream for many. It describes the complete contradiction and dedication to someone's reality show. This book is a compendium of essential truth and a foregone conclusion, it is up to the book lover to discern which is which. This process may reveal you, insult you, or make your blood simmer. It's all you require to recognize the distortions and deceptions of politics, money and religion. Number 45 or Mr. Trump is confused and did chose for a most difficult job that exposes more than anything else what he is made of. I keep on praying that his eyes will be opened soon. Each and everyone has the same temptation to deal with as Mr. Trump, give him some credit by using these wonderful pearls of wisdom, pow, but in the line of Yahshua. Brer Caleb, Ph.D. Without prejudice and confidential my Ph.D. stands for post-hole digger for we continue to dig for a better foundation for our prodigal son and daughter.